Cheers. So, what's up guys? It's Grant here. Today is a new introduction video to a new project I am very excited to talk about and uh, start here. It is the Cybersecurity Home Lab Project, and I am going to be giving a brief overview of what we will be doing, or what I will be doing, in this uh, project. So, for the longest time, I have been wanting to create what some people have coined as the term home lab. The purpose for me is to simulate and emulate a corporate or enterprise network, setting up different technologies, systems, and managing those systems through a centralized service like Active Directory. I'm going to be deploying and configuring all kinds of services uh, including what you would see within a, uh, an enterprise or corporate network. Now, of course, this isn't going to be the scale. This is going to be a super, super small scale, but it's going to help me introduce myself to um, really just configuring, configuring and doing some sysadmin type projects and then adding the security onto that. To see what I'm talking about, I have a diagram that I have created for this project, which I'm going to briefly overview. Um, yeah. So, all right, as you can see here, here is the cybersecurity home lab project. I've created this graphic to give me just a bit of clarity on what I want to do within my home lab project. Now, of course, everything is always uh, subject to change and things can be scalable. So you can do and add different things. But this is the base project that I will be working on. So I have an old gaming PC that I used to use for gaming, of course, and I'm going to be using this as my centralized server for my home lab. I'm not going to be doing it through this Windows laptop. I will be doing it through uh, a main PC for other reasons, just because I want to offload and try different things. I'm going to be doing a, a few different things. Um, first thing I'm going to be doing is configuring and setting up this main PC and then also be working with setting up uh, a Linux desktop VM and a Windows 10 Pro or Professional uh, or Enterprise and I'm going to be s connecting these and managing everything centrally through Active Directory. So I'm going to use Active Directory on this main PC and um, connect several VMs to it to simulate workstations. And then I'm going to be configuring an RDP server um, or desktop. Because RDP is such a popular service used on a corporate scale and level, I'm going to be configuring and learning how to secure RDP uh, properly. I'm going to tuck this behind a Palo Alto uh, Panos 8 image VM just because it's an added layer of security. And then as well, I will be working on building out a VPN server, uh, a vulnerability server, which will be a, an image of Tenable Nessus, the vulnerability scanner, and a SEM, and I will be using Splunk as my SEM. All of these will be hosted up in VMs as well. And then I'm going to be creating a PFSense VM to get me a little bit of more experience working with open source firewalls. So I'll be working with both a Palo Alto and a PFSense image. And I will connect this to the main PC and everything will be filtered through the PFSense firewall to my home router, which will go out into the internet. The reason why I want to do this specifically is because I don't want to... Um, mess around with my other family members and I just want to segment everything off, uh, provide network segmentation for this home lab. Now you may be wondering how exactly you can follow along as I document and learn throughout this process. Well, basically everything is going to be hosted up in a VM or a, within VMs or virtualized. So. Uh, besides the main PC that I will be dedicating to this home lab, and I'll call this a server, you can basically do everything else um, from just a normal workstation as long as you have the processing power. So there really is no um, constraints or, or hardware things that you have to buy to follow along with this project. All you have to do is just, you know, Follow along with your virtual environment and workstation. So let the project begin. Mah, hacking. No, I'm just joking. I have a document that is up hosted out on my website detailing the a little bit more about the cybersecurity home lab, including all the resources I will be using 
to uh, learn throughout this project, maybe more sources as they go. I'll be documenting this whole process on my website, cyberacademy.org, so make sure to read about the following details or what I'm learning in addition to these videos. Uh, of course, I'll link those as I go throughout the project. I hope this is going to be an interesting you know, project for me to learn, simulate a corporate network, and I hope to learn a lot. Yeah, I hope you guys can maybe use this as well as me. So, until the next time, you guys have a fantastic day.